Cold he fell. It was another sunny day on the island of Sunday. Thomas the railway engine was pulling his passenger coaches. Express coming through. And he was being a really useful engine. Woohoo! Another successful run on my branch line. Hello, Edward. What have you been doing today? I've just been delivering some coal to the mountain railway. <gasps> A mountain railway? That sounds amazing. Well, it's okay, I suppose. Come on, Annie and Clarabelle. We're going to the mountain railway. Woohoo! Slow down, Speedy. Sorry, Edward. So Thomas headed off to the mountain railway. He passed through many stations and places before he finally arrived at his destination. There were lots of engines in all different colours. Some were pulling trucks, and some were pulling coaches. Who's that engine? Don't ask me. I've never seen him before. Hello, who are you? I'm Thomas, the number one engine. Well, I'm Coldy, and this is the Coldy Fell Railway. We mountain engines are very good at climbing mountains. You may be very good, but I'm very, very good. Nonsense. We were designed and built specifically for this job, and that means we're fastest and best. If you can pull your passengers to the end of the line and back before tea time, you really will be the fastest mountain engine on the whole of Sodor. You're on, mate. <laughs> Ni hao. What? It's Chinese for hello. I'm Chang Tai, and I'm from China. Would you like to learn about my amazing country? Sorry, Mr. Chai Tea, but I've already been to China myself. Goodbye. How rude. <laughs> This rate will never be back on tea time. If we start off quickly, we can still make it back in time. Full steam ahead. Luckily no one was hurt, and a local potato farmer raised the alarm. Later that day, Coldy had been lifted onto a flatbed and was ready to be taken to the steamworks. <laughs> I guess you could say that Coldy fell. <sighs> Oh, Thomas, I was a very silly engine. I should have never tried to go faster than you. Maybe we're just as fast as each other? You were very silly, Caldy, but I wouldn't go that far. I'm obviously the faster engine between us. Uh, I guess you're right, Thomas. I'll prove it. Hey, Philip, fancy a race? Of course. You just wait till you see how fast I am. Three, two, one, go! Hey! That's cheating! Wait! Don't forget about me! Oh dear. Lofty old Harry. It was a cool mountain day on the island of Soho, and all the engines were being useful. Except for one. Here 
is Harry. You should be more careful, Lord Harry, and go a bit slower. Nonsense, old timer. I can go super fast and be super safe at the same time. I would have said it was conceit myself. What? What? Ugh, I can't be wasting time with an old bucket of bolts like you. Be careful on the points, Lord Harry, or you'll end up like old Godred. Stuff and nonsense. That coldie is too big for his buffers. And he shouldn't even have any buffers. I'm being perfectly safe. Oh, didn't see that coming. Very funny, Mr. Harry. You know, we have a word for engines like you back in China. Yeah, and what's that? Stupid. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Oh, oh, hey. Have you got a spare wheel for me? Yeah, I need one too. But I really need my wheels. They're really important to me lifestyle. Do you have any piston rods I can borrow, Harry? Or a buff I could do with a new buffer bean now that you mention it. Me too. And me. I was here first. Uh, actually, I was here first. Oh, oh this is horrible. I did warn you, Lord Harry. I'm very disappointed in you, Lord Harry. You can stay in the shed until I can trust you with passenger coaches. Ugh. Hello? A storm? Oh no. Climbers? Stuck at the summit? Oh dear, oh dear. Those climbers need my help. Hey, aren't you supposed to stay in the shed? This is an emergency chai tea. How rude. Thanks for coming to save us, old chap. Yes, it's getting quite nippy up here. Uh, you might want to speed up. Why? Because there's a giant boulder heading straight towards us. Wow, this is a lot of rain. It is, I suppose. Reminds me of when Nia and I were pulling coffee beans through the Amazon rainforest. I've been on many big world adventures in my time, let me tell you. <coughs> oh, the indignity. You fell over. <laughs> Well done, Lord Harry. It was very brave of you to rescue those climbers when they were in a spot of bother. Thank you, sir. Does that mean I can pull passengers again? Yes, indeed. You can be really useful once more. 
and everything was lovely once again. Wonderful. King Godfrey. It was a busy day on the mountain road. All the engines were being really useful. These empty trucks are needed at the mine, Ernest. I'll be right on it. Quickly, everyone. I don't have all day. Every engine, that is, except for Godred. Out with the way, you silly old engine. Mountain Express coming through. <sighs> I wish I could be useful and pull passenger coaches again. Poor Godred had a nasty accident, and he couldn't be really useful anymore. Oh dear, whatever is the matter, Godred? I get so bored of sitting in this siding. I just want to be really useful again. I don't see why you can't just be repaired like I was when I had my accident. I'll mention it to Mr. Percival. Thank you, Coldy. Wow. That is a very modern looking steam engine. I wonder if the boys at the works could rebuild me like that. This is amazing! I must be the fastest engine in the whole wide world! Look at me now, Lord Harry! Here already, Godfred, and I thought I was the fastest mountain engine. I am impressed. I know, right? What's wrong, Godfred? <sighs> oh, nothing. I'm just waiting to be repaired. It could take weeks, months, maybe even years. Fizzling fireboxes. I don't know what a yours is, but it sounds like a very long time. Uh... Don't worry, Godred. I'm sure I can find some new parts for you. Really? You'd do that for me? Of course. Friends help each other. Now stay right there. Uh, duh. It's not like I have much of a choice. So Percy began his hunt for spare engine parts. Hi, Thomas. Hello, Percy. Don't tell me we've got to take another balloon on a flatbed. Of course not, silly. I was just wondering if we'd used all those new rivets. I don't think so, Percy. There's still some on that siding over there. Hello, Thomas. I heard there was a new shipment of rivets. Sorry, Percy just took the last of them. Oh dear, Henry will be disappointed. Next, Percy went to look at Whiff's waist dump. What brings you here, Percy? Don't tell me you're being recycled. <laughs> no, I'm just looking for some spare engine parts. We've got plenty of those, and you're welcome to have them. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Whiff, are you alright? I'm totally not alright. Hey, are you sure about this, Percy? Something doesn't feel right. Don't worry. Try making a big puff of steam. <laughs> Mr. Percival, sir. I can explain. I appreciate your efforts, Percy, but I think it's best that Victor and Kevin take over their repairs for now. I'll be sending you to the works, Godfrey. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. But I must say, this crown has given me an excellent idea. A few weeks later, an engine arrived that none of the others had ever seen before. Wow! Is that really you, Godfrey? Yes! Yeah. King Godfrey, now! You look very legal, Godfrey. Nice crown. 
a crowd fit for a king god, eh? Roger felt better than ever before, and he couldn't wait to be really useful again. Coldy, it's cold outside. Winter had arrived on the island of Sodor. The mountain railway engines were busy as usual. Hello, Lord Harry. Enjoying the weather? I'll tell you what, Coldy. The sooner winter's over, the better. It takes so long to get a steam up in the morning. I'll agree with you there. And worst of all, I've got to take these passengers up to Boulder Summit of all places. Why can't they just walk there? I swear my funnel will freeze off one of these days. You should be grateful that you get to pull coaches, Lord Harry. Passengers are our coal and water, you know. I thought coal and water were our coal and water. Fizzling fireboxes. What's in that crate, Cranky? I don't know, Thomas. All I know is it's very heavy. Well, luckily, I'm the strongest engine on Sodor. Hey, be careful. Oops, I guess I'm not as strong as you, Thomas. It was so cold the next morning, the steam engines could hardly move at all. I do wish my fire would stop going out. Any luck over there, Chang Tai? I have no steam at all. It's colder than the Himalayas this morning. You guys are making such a fuss over nothing. But I suppose I do have my super heat keeping me warm. I would have said it was conceit myself. How are you all today? I hope the weather isn't treating you too badly. Oh, I'm fine, sir. But I'm afraid the other, older engines are having a bit of trouble. Oof. Well, I'm sure you'll all be glad to know I've got a new engine to help you out. Me to Alwyn. Alright, guys. Alwyn here will be helping out until the weather improves. Until then, sit tight. I'd best be off with the passenger train. See you all later. Who does she think she is? There's no way she can manage all the coaches at once. What kind of engine is that anyway? She's coughing dark smoke from her funnel. She's a diesel engine. Well, Peter Sam told me about diesels whilst I was at the steamworks. Apparently, they don't work very well. Cool, oh, blimey. That's an awful lot of people. No trouble for me, though. Wow, such an impressive locomotive. Better than those old steamers, I'd say. I didn't get restored just to sit around doing nothing while a Sneasel engine does all of my work for me. Aha! It's about time! Don't tell me you're going out in this weather, King Godred. Besides, Mr. Percival told us to stay here. I'll just take a quick train of empty trucks to the mine, fill them up and bring them back. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> The bridge is damaged. I'll get the workman right away. I've had <laughs> Back so soon? I'm getting the workman's train. The bridge at Shiloh is damaged. But King Godred is still out on the line. The workman inspected the damaged bridge and put up signs to warn everyone of the danger. Meanwhile, King Godred was making his way back towards the bridge. Eh? What is that? Oh, I cracked my crown! Ooh. Oh. Stay right there, King Godred. 
It's not like I have much of a choice. Ow. <laughs> Keep pulling. Thank you so much! If it wasn't for you, I'd be back on the scrap heap! No problem. Soon, the weather started to get warmer, and the steam engines could bubble their boilers again. Have a great day, guys! You too! Stay safe, my good Kiesel friend! So at last, the steamies and diesel could be really useful together. Thomas steamed toward Edmuth Sheds he felt happy. Yes, he said. Welcome to the Cuddy Fell. Leadline engines always boast how big they are. Superior.